Hello, this is a video tutorial with DMV Photo Booth Rentals for Sale. And today we're going to talk about our advanced settings in DSLR Remote Pro. And you do not need the, your camera connected to access these settings, but to see these settings in action, you will definitely need to connect your camera. And but for right now, I'm going to leave the camera unconnected and I'm going to and we'll discuss uh, looking at those camera those settings in action in another tutorial. So first things first, we're going to open up the software and you're going to see something that says not connected. But don't worry about that. We're just going to ignore it for now and go to our advanced settings, which is in a row called Photo Booth Shortcuts, right next to Reprint Photo Booth Photos and Print Layout. So we're going to just click right on Advanced Settings. And you're going to see a very intimidating dialog box come up with all different sorts of things you know, that you can click on, uh, pull from a drop down, uh, a fill in everything and you know I just want to go through some of these things and explain to you what they are and uh, and what they do so we're going to start out with our display options and we're going to go right into number of images which is we have set it four and you can select from one to ten but we have our set at four so this means that during a photo booth session four pictures are taken we can we can change that number to many different things uh, you know obviously just one through ten and then next thing is delay before taking first photo we have a, a five second delay before the first photo is taken so the first before the first of the four photos we have a five second delay then to the right of that we have a delay before taking remaining photos which is also five seconds so image two through four will have five, dec five second delays before them as well. Right. And next we're going to go to our image preview time and basically image preview is after the image is taken, each image is taken, there will be a preview and then there will be a time uh, 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 in seconds allotted to that preview and we have ours disabled at zero and you see zero, zero equals disabled. And the thing to the right of that says minimum time to display processing screen. And your processing screen uh, comes up uh, after you finish the session and it's ready to print and it's going to print out. So it's going to show you that it's in the process of being printed. right? And we have uh, the time to display, the minimum time to display that at five seconds. And the next is are text displayed when counting down to taking photo and we have some tokens in here uh, or you know some shortcuts or whatever what have you that uh, uh, point to certain numbers that are up here so we have taking I'm, so I'm going to read this off and I'm going to uh, uh, plug in some of the numbers from up here to show you what these things mean taking photo number one of four in five seconds. So this is the image number that they're that the that the photo is being taken. That uh, the, the photo number that's being taken. This is how many photos in the session, and this is how much time is left to taking that photo. And you can change this to whatever you want it to be, but we have ours fairly simple, and uh, but you can be as creative as you want. And you can change have this, uh, and you can change that font. You know, we have our set of Arial at 48 uh, points, and we have the color set at white. And uh, this is, w and we have an offset for that at 400. So basically, this means where this is going to start. This is, you know, this text is going to start at the 400th pixel from the, you know, uh, at the 400th pixel in the screen. You can put this at zero, so it'll be on auto, and it'll set this at the middle of the screen. So now we're going to talk about our live view. And and there's really uh three fill-ins that you have that uh, control your live view uh size and and where it is. So we have live view height here, right? And that controls the vertical height of the live view. So and your live view will be horizontal, but this will control the vertical height of it. So we always have ours set between 800 and 850 pixels. And just remember that this number is in pixels. And then we have our left, left offset. 
and this is where the live view image will start in pixels so we usually have our set at 250 but right now for this event we had it set at 335 right so this means that the live view will start from left to right at the 335th pixel and it's similar for the top offset which we have at zero so this means that our live view will start at the very very tippy top of the screen but if we were to put this at 100 that would mean our live view would start at the hundredth pixel from the top unlike the left offset where this is says the 330th 335th pixel from the left right So now we have a bunch of uh, uh, things that we can enable and disable. I'm just going to read them off. They're pretty self-explanatory. Enable live view in full screen mode. Auto white balance. Disable live view when taking photo. Only display live view images for the first shot. Show progress bar when preparing printing. Mirror live view images. Disable live view when printing. External flash mode. Clicker mode. And you can see the things that we have selected. And we pretty much don't change this, un, you know, unless there's a, a an extenuating circumstance that a client has purchased a certain option that we would need to use these things more, or they asked to change something. So now I'm gonna look at this clickable. It says start full screen photo booth mode automatically when the camera connects. And so if there is a camera connected to this software, it will jump straight in to what the client sees and you can check this on and off and then we can go right into our start options which we always keep at touch screen but I'm gonna click on it just to show you what's inside of it you know you have left click to start anywhere left click to start right click to toggle black and white mode all this other stuff right but we always keep it at touch screen because it's a photo booth and the person inside the photo booth is going to be starting it from a touch screen so it has to be a touch screen and you have touch screen settings which we'll discuss in another tutorial and then you have output options and uh, you're going to look at this output and it says print and save JPEG copy we always want to have it at this because we want to print a we want to print it out for the customer and we also want to save a copy of it so we can give it to the customer on a disk or online or whatever uh, uh, system that you have you know and you can go into settings and change this even more you can even click on this and see it says print only JPEG copy only and none so we always keep it on print and save JPEG copy right. and you can click on confirm before printing but I highly I, I don't recommend it because you would have to literally touch the screen before it every time before it, it printed and then you we have our layout for the print for the printout our layout for the printout and we leave it on custom layout and I'll talk about these settings later but if you don't want to uh, a typical layout is uh, with four rows and two columns and that'll give you a, 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 some sh uh, a, a, a six by uh, four by six by two uh, photo booth strip you know which is very typical but that will again that will be discussed later and but this is also important number of copies to print we only want to print one copy unless it's an extenuating circumstance that you know your client has purchased another package or another option where it allows them to print three copies right or four copies or two copies or whatever what have you so now we're going to go to something that is supremely important which is photo booth images folder containing screen layout and o and overlay images this is custom this is a uh, custom this path here accesses a folder that contains all of the all of the photo booth touch screen customization and all of these settings here it accesses it in this folder right and we can we can search for a folder by clicking on here and scrolling through and then we see we have a whole bunch of uh, customer folders here and uh, and inside these folders will be things such as uh, you know uh, 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 screen one screen two screen three but that will be discussed later and you can load the uh, uh, you can save all these settings that we've just looked at by clicking on the save button and pressing yes and then you know telling it to 
you know, calling it, naming it something, but we name our settings. You see here, new customer settings, and then clicking on save. Right? And you can load those settings by doing the same, by literally doing almost the same thing. You see, you load it, and you make sure you're a new customer, and click settings, and open it up, and it loads the settings. So it just loaded the settings that we already had up. And uh, we always leave our sharpen images amount on 75, uh, and all this stuff that we, we pretty much don't use down here. We always want this to be, however, print photo booths in color. Somebody may want to print their, their uh, photo booths in black and white, or a toned, or like a sepia. Uh, color, but that's uh, based on the package that they order, right? So this is pretty much that was a, a quick run through of the advanced photo booth settings, and uh, I thank you for looking at this tutorial and have a great day.